Welcome, new friends. Dear diary, I'm the king of Babylon. The first thing I'm going to do is start the Nebuchadnezzar Academy. I'll round up the smartest young Israelites in Judah and bring them to the academy to teach them all about how to be a good Babylonian. Oh, it will be so much fun. I'm even going to share my food with them. They'll have to love me. Ash will watch over the prisoners, uh, I mean students in the academy. I told him to give them fun new names. I'm leaving now to see how my new friends are doing. BRB. Well, I was hoping for names like Star Chaser or Super Macho Ninja Warrior. I guess Ash wasn't that creative. He changed Daniel to Belteshazzar, Hananiah to Shadrach, Mishael to Meshach, and Azariah to Abednego. He seems to like those four the most. I'm keeping my eye on the leftovers, and it appears that four students aren't eating my food. It couldn't be Ash's favourites. They look healthier than the rest. I had a dream. Dear diary, I had a crazy dream last night. No one will guess what it's about. I'm going to use it to test my advisors and magicians. I think they have been faking. If they can't tell me what my dream was and what it means, I'm going to get rid of all of them. Time to go and ask them to interpret my dream. This should be fun. I knew they were fakes. None of my wise men could even tell me what my dream was. So, I told Ariok to round them up and them all executed. Ariok is knocking at the door. Gotta go. Well, that Israelite Belteshazzar is no fake. He not only told me that my dream was about a big statue that gets knocked down by a rock, but he also explained what it meant. Something about the end of my rule or whatever. He says he got the ability to interpret dreams from the one true God. Maybe I should learn more about this God. I decided to make Belteshazzar my main wise man and he convinced me to make his three friends wise men too. I'm sure the magicians will love him for saving their lives. Is something burning? Dear Diary, Today is the day I invited all my friends to celebrate my new statue. I'm making a rule that whenever music plays, everyone will stop what they are doing and bow to the statue. I'm also inviting my favourite bands, Bullrush Basket Babies, Levi and the Fat Portions, and, of course, Genesis. Time to go celebrate. I'll write more after the party. Well, that was a mess. Those three friends of Belteshazzar refused to bow. They said they would only bow to the one true God. I'm going to show them. I'm heating my furnace extra hot, and then I'm going to throw them in. When I get back, I'll let you know how fast they burned. Well, this shouldn't take long. Okay, you're not going to believe this. The furnace was extra hot. We threw them in and I wanted to watch them burn. But when I looked in the furnace, they were fine. Their clothes weren't even burning. And there was someone else in there with them, protecting them. When the three friends came out, I had to admit that their God is amazing. I told everyone that we needed to follow their God. That hot fire got me in the mood for a barbecue. I'll have Ash get some for me. That's good to be king. More crazy dreams. Dear diary, I had another crazy dream. Belteshazzar didn't want to tell me what it meant because he thought I would be sad. He said the dream meant that I would be like a cow for seven years, eating grass, 
crawling on all fours, unable to talk. It's supposed to be God's way of teaching me not to be proud. That's just silly. I'm in complete control. I would never act like a moo. I'm back. Seven years of living like an animal taught me to appreciate all that God has done for me. I understand now that all good things come from God and that I should be thankful. I'm going to tell all my friends about God, so maybe they won't have to be taught a lesson like I was. If God can change my heart, he can help anyone. Now. I'm going to take a bath and get something to eat. But what should I eat? After seven years of eating grass, I don't even want to think about a salad. I used to love barbecue, but I can't eat that now. Those are my friends. How about a peanut butter and banana sandwich? I do like licorice. A peanut butter and licorice sandwich. We'll call it a nebby.